different video this time, as you'll see uh, if you follow along. Uh, I'm in Kit's house at the moment. Uh, Kit and I have been debating for months, well over a year in fact, about uh, some of the developments that he's been doing. And you'll recognise some of the trains uh, laid out on the, on the carpet here. Uh, most of what he's been doing, he's been doing for his grandchildren, just to entertain uh, them while they've been staying over with him. Hi, I'm Warren Brand and welcome to another Lindley's video. Hi Kit, uh, so thank you for inviting me along. Uh, you're going to give us a demo of what you've been working on over the last uh, few weeks. Yes, this is yeah. my very amateurish attempt to make something which the grandchildren will play with. Yeah. And I will admit to playing with it myself. Of course. So we're, we're going to start this off. How, how do we initiate this? Well, I will need to start the programme. And the first thing you'll notice is the barrier will rise and there will be a secret code. A secret code? Yes. The barrier rises. Barrier open. Please enter the secret two digit code. There is a code to be entered on the keypad and let's try this little man here doing it. Sorry, try it again. Oh dear. The idea for the grandchildren is it's something connected with my age. So let's try those two numbers. Yes, you may now use the train control box. Aha! We're ready. At this point, we can control the speed of the train with the potentiometer. You may be able to hear the train coming round, past the barrier, round and round it goes. What I thought was the children would quite like to play with it to be able to do something rather than just see it as a demonstration. So you'll notice on the control box are a number of buttons and switches which do things which the children can play with. Obviously, we can speed up, slow down at the moment, but also we can stop. Attention, train slowing as the barrier is closing. Barrier is now closed. Aha! How do we start this? The barrier is across. Let's turn it up. No, we're stopped by the station. Let's press start. Notice the barrier. Barrier open. Attention, the train is starting off with the barrier is open. And we are now back on the manual control. The next two or three buttons do things like deliver gravel and logs into the truck. Now let's see if I can make it do it. Here is the gravel. Here comes the train. I might slow it down. And then let's stop it there and press gravel. Look at that. And off we go again with gravel in the truck. Next time, Perhaps we can put logs in the truck as well. Let's see if we can get the logs delivered into the truck. So I press logs. The robot arm is loading logs. And here he goes. Ah, lovely. It's delivered the logs into the truck and off we go again. Round and round it goes. This time we'll press the points and it should avoid the gravel delivery. There it goes. It avoids the gravel delivery. And round and round again. We'll do the points again. This time it's going to go under the gravel delivery. If you're a seven year old, you might find that quite amusing. We might pretend to stop it. But it's only a light, it doesn't stop. Oh dear, 
so we need some organization but there are lights red and green which they can play with what I thought was the children ought to find it impossible to crash into the barrier so that the stop button stops the train before the barrier comes down so they shouldn't be able to hit it and restarting it could they run into the barrier and damage it no if they press the start button the barrier rises the train is auto started and away it goes now back on manual what a lot of fun just amazing hugely complex kit's been working on this for months we've been talking uh years in fact uh he's been practicing with raspberry pies whatever they are um and just having lots of fun and this kind of this setup is an amalgam of a whole load of separate projects that he's been working on for all that time let's dive into a little bit of the how the heck does it all work bit uh, so kid will explain some of this stuff as well this central box kit what what the heck's in it <laughs> <laughs> the idea is as i said before that the children can play with the switches yeah so each one of the switches and buttons is connected to something i'd worked on before mm -hmm. like the logs or the gravel or the stop start so every little switch is something to play with which does something yeah. which i think is important for the little ones i admit i've added some technical stuff like you probably saw a dial on the front and wondered what that was about but basically it is a series of little controls to make things happen on the railway let's rewind slightly and have a look at the track uh, you may recognize the lgb trains well i lent kit some of the trains oh, a year or two back now just to play i don't use them all the time obviously and my box of uh, lgb track which i hardly use at all he's added a few bits he's got a crossover and uh, we've bought some more points and various bits so most of it is lgb plus a bit of playmobil um, and he's been just playing with that uh, with various controllers for a long time so we've we've got an idea now of uh, why kit has been uh, playing developing and having a lot of fun i think himself actually but shh. <laughs> uh, we're going to dive into some of the kind of how the heck it works inside the box uh you may want to just skip this bit if you're not interested in any kind of electronics but maybe you are maybe you're just damned curious well we've got a box uh, with buttons on, we've seen that. Let's have a look in the, the very complicated bit of the back. Kit, talk us through what's inside. If I take this little cover off, and I'm afraid that's just to keep little fingers out of the electronics, you might be able to see in the confusion of rather untidily constructed wires that there are two Raspberry Pi microcomputers in there. This is a Pi Zero and down there is a Pi 4 for those who know anything about Raspberry Pis. Under here is a power module which conveys the voltage to the track. Here with the two little red lights are some relays which allow me to move between manual control and computer control. The whole thing is as you can see not connected to a screen so it's difficult to get the programming directly but what i do is it's connected through the house wi-fi network to my pc on my bench and i control it from there while i was doing it i thought i would put a couple of little windows here so the children could see meters at work and for those into the electricity they will recognize that the voltage on the track, the current through it, and an analog version of it are visible. And maybe I can talk to the children about that. Loads of fun, my goodness, Kit. You've been working hard with this <laughs> over quite a long time. Thank you for letting me uh, join in and uh, 
take part in this little demo today? Well, I must thank you, Warren. Uh, without the track and the inspiration, I know you're working hard on your garden stuff, yeah. um, but without borrowing the track from you, I would not have enjoyed myself as much as I have done over the last year. Thank you. I think Kit has enjoyed himself. Uh, Including those little uh, voiceover little uh, announcements as well. That was a bit of fun. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, great. I uh, hope you've enjoyed watching this uh, different uh, video on the channel this time. Thanks for watching and bye for now.